Hello everyone, and welcome to another video that I'm making at 3am. This video is going to be a short video of the differences and advantages of the two competing tanks of the M1A2 Abrams SIP V4 and the T14 Armata. Let's get to the point. The Abrams. It is a defensive armoured main battle tank. It weighs more than the T14 and goes much slower than it. The Abrams is a 120mm smoothbore cannon with three machine guns. The Abrams cannon can aim up and down much more effectively with more of an angle than the T14. The Abrams does not have an autoloader. The Abrams has more armour on its turret than its front. The Abrams having three machine guns is a uh, descendant from the Sherman and other tanks after it. This is because they believed in a more defensive strategy and the fact that more firepower would be needed because armoured warfare will not be ending anytime soon. They also made it that one main battle tank can take on an entire civil, sorry, an entire army group by itself. Meaning, with the ammunition it has, it has the capability to take out over 30 to 40 troops at one time. The cannon moving up and down at much at much um, deeper angles gives it an advantage of cover over the T-14 much more effectively. The T-14 does not have this advantage. Its barrel, as have most Russian tanks, has not been able to steeply go up or down that much. The same problem happened with the T-55, the T-62, the T-72, the T-80, and the T90. The Abrams does not have an autoloader. This has been one of the main controversies of the argument between the Abrams and the T14. See, with a skilled loader, a human loader which is skilled can effectively load the tank much faster than an autoloader as an autoloader has a bigger chance of stalling and getting jammed and breaking. This has been shown many times on Russian tanks and especially in the Ukraine-Russian war. The Abrams have, has much more armour on its turret than it does on its frontal armour plates. This is because it gives it a massive advantage when peeking over barricades and hills, which is also why it's able to have a steep turret aim, which gives its barrel the ability to steeply aim down or up, which gives it an advantage over the T-14, which makes the Abrams a defensive vehicle and extremely effective in defensive situations and scenarios. The T-14 it is an offensive vehicle. The T-14, despite its size, weighs less than the Abrams. It is a 125mm millimeter cannon and can shoot 80 GMs. It is arguably faster than the Abrams, and supposedly it is cheaper. The turret itself is also artificially intelligent. It is artificial intelligence and does not require any crew member whatsoever to be inside. The tank itself has three crew members all being in the main part of the tank. The T-14 has an autoloader and has heavy armour on the front and sides of the tank, but less armour on the turret. This is because they have stacked up error and narrow armour on the turret to prevent shells from getting into the turret via an easy way. 
This U14 is much faster than the Abrams and can therefore be used as an effective offensive vehicle. Although this has not been proven yet because they have not used it in the Ukraine war. Another point is the T14 has extremely weak armor on the back sides of it and has recently had extremely weak weak spot been found at the wheels. So at the moment the new SEP V4, even though it's not in production, is promising and may give a heavy advantage over the T14. This proves that the Abrams, being a defensive armoured main battle tank, not an, not an offensive one, even though it is multi-role, will be better than the T14 in most situations. However, the T14, if the Russians are not lying about it, can outnumber and outpower the Abrams by itself. Both tanks has its ups and downs, but overall, the Abrams has been proven in battle, combat proven, and has been upgraded multiple times. The C14 is a new design, and there is a high chance of it being lied about or over exaggerated, and has not been combat proven. This is my video and opinion on the differences and the advantages between the T14 Armata and the Abrams. Goodbye.